Welcome to how to enter a vendor credit in QuickBooks. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University, and I want to show you in this video uh, how to enter a vendor credit. So when you get a vendor credit, uh, you know, from one of your vendors, you got to make sure you enter this in QuickBooks the correct way. Now, if you're not entering bills in QuickBooks, uh, then there would really be no point in entering the vendor credit. So you want to make sure that you do use the enter and pay bills function uh, first. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you two ways one way to enter the vendor credit, but I want to show you two ways to do it under two different situations uh, because they are different. Okay, so under a normal situation, let's say that you just have like an operating bill, okay, whether this is like a, you know, utilities or rent or, you know, your alarm company, security system, whatever the case may be, but it's just one of these, uh, you know, monthly recurring bills that you get. It's not like a job costing or something like that if you're in construction. All right, so just a normal everyday monthly type fill, bill, okay? So you get this bill and you've got a credit, all right? So what you're gonna do to enter this credit is you're gonna go up to vendors. You can do this here or you can go to enter bills, okay? So this is kind of the odd thing is that you want to go to enter bills all right so when you're on this screen you can see there's a box here or the little radio button you click on credit all right so when you're entering the bill this is bill and when you're entering the credit you're going to click on here okay so we're going to say that we have a uh, a credit from sergeant insurance okay and we're going to say that the date is 12 15 2023 Usually there is some kind of reference number. So let's say that it's 652413. All right, this is gonna be the, the number that they put on the uh, credit. You know, it's like a statement or something that you get. That's the credit number. All right, so we're gonna say that this credit is $50. All right, and we are going to say this is going to the expense tab because this is more or less an operating expense of the business. Let's say Sergeant Insurance is our, you know, monthly, you know, I don't know, health insurance or uh, workers comp or, or something like that. Okay, so we're going to put this under the expenses tab and we're going to put this to insurance expense. But let's hit this drop down and we're going to say that it's workers comp. Okay, 50 bucks. It's not going to a customer or job. Uh, we don't have any class that we're going to put on this. Well, we'll say overhead in this situation. And uh, voila, we're done. Okay, so what we're going to do is just hit save and close. So that's the basic way that you enter a vendor credit in QuickBooks. It's pretty simple. All right, now it gets a little bit more complicated if you are job costing in QuickBooks. And let's say that you get a bill from a sub that you, you know, let's say you bill it to your customer or you're just trying to track your profit and loss by job. You want to make sure that you are putting it to that job. OK, so this situation, we're going to do it a little bit differently here. So this time, let's go to vendors and let's say that uh, one of our subs, Middlefield Drywall, sent us a credit on a bill that was for one of our jobs. All right. So at first, it's going to be the same thing. We're going to go to enter bills. We're going to choose credit and we're going to choose middle field drywall. OK, so I tab over, say I've got my number five, two, seven, eight, nine, and we're going to say that this is two hundred dollars. OK, but now because this is a job cost to a job, we want to put it under the items tab. All right. So this is going to be a little bit different. So instead of expenses, we're going to put it to items. OK, so now what you have to do is you have to go back to the bill that this is for. Now, sometimes it's not for a specific bill, but many times you can trace it to a specific bill. OK, so what I want to do, I'm going to clear this first, OK, because I need to go back to my pay bills and I want to find the middle field drywall. OK, so here's the bill. Twelve hundred bucks. All right, so you want to pull this bill up on the screen. You're going to go to the bill. And this credit in this example is for this drywall, $750 for the Johnny Melton Dental Office. Okay, it's not a billable uh, expense, but this is for this job right here. Okay, so we want to enter a credit for this job. All right. So we're going to go back up here. And the reason I cleared that credit is because I wouldn't be able to pull up this bill and still have that open without it saved. All right. So I'm going to go to vendor. I'm going to go to enter bills 
and we're going to make this a credit middle field drywall. Again, I'm just going to put a, my credit number in there, 200 bucks. And now that I'm under the items tab, okay, I'm going to do drywall. All right. Install drywall. All right. Cost 200. Okay. Now customer job, you want to make sure that you put it to Johnny Melton. Okay. So this was dental office not billable and the class was new construction okay so now we have this credit applied to this job which is the appropriate way you want to do it so that you can correctly track your profit and loss on that job all right so we're going to save and close this okay now when it comes to using these credits all right when you are in this pay bills screen i want to show you here so middle field drywall when we check this off you're going to see the credits down here, total credits available. So you can set the credits, and if it's got the check mark next to it, it's good to go. You hit done, and you'll see that it says 1200 bucks was the amount due, credits used, 1000 bucks. All right, so you want to make sure you use your credits. You always want to check to make sure, hey, do I have any credits out there that you know I can apply to one of these bills? All right, so if you do the same thing down here under Sergeant Insurance, you're going to see that we have $50 credit and it's going to check it off. We're going to say OK and we're going to take the credit. OK, easy as that. So again, you want to make sure you use the credits that you enter the system. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below. Um, happy to answer those. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and also subscribe to my channel. Would sure appreciate it. Thanks so much.